Hey folks, just wanted to give you an update on this snowman. We finished carving it. I'm calling this one snowman number four. So you can see I've done some wood burning on here. I went around the top and bottom at the brim of that hat with the wood burner. Underneath where the hat meets the head. Down here, the top, the bottom edges of the scarf, around the knot down along the sides of that scarf, where it separates the two pieces of scarf, and also these tassels, the fringe. So all the way around, let me just turn this a little bit for you. I just like using this thing. All right, so what that does, it helps to give depth, helps to give shadows, and it keeps your paint from running together. So if I paint the scarf red and the body is white, that line where it's burned will help to prevent the paint from running together and bleeding into each other. So there you go. That's what he looks like when he's burned. Snowman number four, next up, painting. Okay, here's our snowman with the paint on him. And I'm gonna talk you through some of the colors that we've used here. So the hat is raw sienna. The band on that hat is called holiday red. That's the same color that we see in the scarf. And for these eyes, I just used a paint pen to add that black pupil and then a toothpick with a touch of white paint for the little dots in each of those eyes. The nose, that's a, a color called hot saffron, but really any orange color will work for you. Here's that scarf I mentioned that's holiday red. The blue stripes are from a paint pen it's a dark blue color and it's uh, pretty easy to apply with a paint pen. And the body, of course, is just white. And really any white will work. You don't have to get picky about that. Now to add some shadow, I took that deep midnight blue and I watered it down and I put some here in that mouth just to add some shadow there. Didn't want to wood burn that because that would be just too dark. I added some in the little corners of his eyes underneath the brim of his hat, and also down here, underneath that scarf, all the way around his body, I added a shadow with that deep midnight blue. Also came down along the side of that scarf, just added the slightest little hint of a shadow next to that scarf running along that. So we're just looking for that hint of color. So this is going to be more vibrant after you put the finish on. The colors are darker and more vibrant. You can see the difference in the noses and also the scarves. So in addition to that, there's a chalkiness that you feel from this acrylic paint after you first apply it. And, and really that chalkiness will stay until you put a finish on there. So the next step is adding a finish to this guy. So we'll go and do that now. So here we go, folks. Snowman number four with his final coat. Let me tell you a little bit about the finish that I put on snowman number four. After the paint was applied uh, in that last segment, I showed you the difference between snowman number one and snowman number four. In snowman number one, of course, the, the colors were darker, more vibrant. So to achieve that, I put on a coat of Minwax natural 209 wood stain, followed by a coat of Howard Feed and Wax, and that's right after. So I put on that wood stain and probably within a minute apply the Feed and Wax. I let that kind of soak in and cure for a few days, and then finish this off with a coat of Minwax water-based polycrylic. And this is the final result. I want to give a shout out while we're uh, looking at this guy. I want to shout out to cousin Doug Cooper and cousin Tony Larson. Thank you for sharing photos of the snowmen that you carved and finished as well. Really appreciate it. So that's it for this one, folks. We'll see you next time.